Dear friends, welcome to Bond with RK Chemistry YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to explain the reduction reactions of diamide. The molecular formula of diamide is N2H2. This is a structure of uh, diamide. Diamide, it's a highly unstable molecule at room temperature. So, there is a need of in situ generation of diamide. The diamide can be generated by using hydrazine. When you treat hydrazine with hydrogen peroxide, there is a removal of two hydrogens from the hydrazine and there is a formation of diamide. Here hydrogen peroxide acts as an oxidizing agent and oxidizes the hydrazine into diamide. And also we can generate diamide by using tosyl hydrazine. This one is tosyl hydrazine. When you heat, when you decompose tosyl hydrazine, there is a removal of tosyl group from one nitrogen and hydrogen from another nitrogen and there is a formation of diamide. We can also prepare diamide from azodicarboxylic acids. When you heat azodicarboxylic acids, there is a removal of two CO2 groups from the azodicarboxylic acids and there is a formation of N2H2. Applications of diamide. Diamide can reduce symmetrical unsaturated bonds, A double bond A, A triple bond A. A double bond A such as C double bond C or O double bond O or N double bond N or S double bond S. These type of symmetrical unsaturated bonds can be reduced by using diamide. And also we can reduce symmetrical unsaturated triple bonds such as C triple bond C. But you cannot reduce unsymmetrical unsaturated bonds such as A double bond B or A triple bond B. Let us take A double bond B, C double bond O, N double bond O or C double bond N. These type of bonds cannot be reduced by using diamide. And also we cannot reduce A triple bond B type of unsymmetrical unsaturated bonds such as C triple bond N. These type of bonds cannot be reduced by diamide. There is an exception, exception even though if you take benzene it has C double bond C. Benzene or aromatic compounds or phenyl rings cannot be reduced by diamide. So this is the one of the exceptions of uh, diamide. Mechanism. In this mechanism, there is only single step. So, it is a concerted mechanism. The mechanism involves single step. It is a concerted mechanism. There is a formation of bond and there is a breaking of bond take place simultaneously. In this mechanism, when you treat C double bond C with the diamide, there is a movement of pi electrons of C double bond C towards hydrogen of diamide and these electrons moves in between two nitrogens and these electrons moves towards carbon. There is a cyclic movement of uh, bonds, bond electrons. There is a formation of six membered cyclic transition state. This one is highly unstable. So, this six member cyclic transition state will be decomposed and there is a formation of nitrogen and triple bond and there is a formation of nitrogen and these two hydrogens are attached to the C double bond C carbons. So, there is a formation of uh, alkane. Finally, the alkene will be converted into alkane. This is the stereochemistry. Diamide, in the case of diamide, there is a syn addition of uh, 
hydrogen takes place. Suppose when you treat a trans alkane, this one is trans alkane, this one is cis alkane. When you treat trans alkane with the deuterated diamide, there is a formation of a racemic group chain. Okay, this one indicates there is a syn addition. Suppose if you take cis alkane, when you treat with deuterated diamide, there is a formation of only meso compound, only single compound you will get. When you treat uh, trans alkene, there is the addition of two deuteriums from this side or this side. So when there is a addition of two hydrogens from this side, there is a formation of this enantiomer. When there is the addition of hydrogens from this side, there is a formation of this enantiomer. Here there is a formation of 50% of this enantiomer and this enantiomer. So finally, there is a formation of racemic mixture. But in case of cis, when the two deuteriums attached to the C double bond C from this side or this side, you will get only zinc compound that is meso compound. These are some applications of uh, diamide. Okay, when you take hydrogen or hydrogen, when you treat with hydrogen peroxide, there is an in situ generation of diamide. This diamide reduces C double bond C into C double bond, C double bond C into C, C triple bond C into C double bond C. Here also there is a syn addition of two hydrogens takes place and there is a formation of cis alkane. So here you will get uh, cis alkane. When you treat with azo compound, here also there is an addition of uh, two hydrogens on N double bond N on same side to the N double bond N phase. In this case, there is an in situ generation of diamide. When you decompose tosyl hydrazine, there is a formation of diamide. This one reduces uh, as a compound. So here there is a syn addition of two hydrogens takes place. Suppose if you take bicyclic compound, this one is uh, this one is endo, and this one is exo. The endo one is sterically hindered, but the exo one is less sterically hindered when compared with endo. So in this case, there is the addition of two hydrogens uh, takes place. Suppose if you take N2D2, let us take N2D2. Here there is a syn addition of two deuteriums takes place from exo side since uh, the exo side is less sterically hindered when compared with endo side. So there is a formation of uh, this compound. This is about the reducing agent diamide. Thank you. Thank you very much.